Hello and welcome to another update video about NetGas. We start here on the daily time frame. just for anybody who's new on the channel. Um, we're still dealing with the same situation. NetGas is boring again, <laughs> very boring. Looks a bit like a triangle down there, but we um, the, the assumption is that we're currently in a C wave to the downside. So we have this B wave top, yeah, August 22, top tier in wave B, the C wave to the downside in five waves, one, two, three, four, five, yeah. This is currently unfolding. We should be in the late stages of that decline. And that C wave, as I said, should be a five wave move. And in that um, fifth wave, obviously, that's what we're looking at at the moment. And it appears to be an ending diagonal pattern, which means that, yep, it's a five wave move to the downside, but it's technically possible that waves one and four overlap. So you get these choppy price movements and you're dealing with ABC structures in the subwaves. So looking at the four hour time frame, then you can see that when this fifth wave started, which was in October last year, we have three waves down in wave one. Haven't labeled this, but this is a, basically a four five is missing. So it looks more like a, you could count it as a five wave move, but the third is clearly three. So we're now likely in that fourth wave. So we've one, two, three completed. We, we need that 4-5 to complete. I mean, nothing needs to happen in these markets. It's not exact science, right? But I can tell you from reading price action, at the moment at least, the way this looks, we don't have a clear setup for um, the low to be in, right? Of course, it's possible. Anything is possible, but not anything is probable. The rally that we've had here between the 16th of Feb and the 5th of March, this looks only like a three-wave rally. And because it's a three-wave rally and it's corrective, um, it's it's not really giving us... So corrective means basically we're correcting the move to the downside. So it's not a new trending move up. It's not starting a new uptrend. It's simply correcting this strong decline in a counter trend move, which goes up. And then we should see another trending move to the downside. This is obviously less obvious obviously less obvious, um, um, in a diagonal. Because if you know a little bit about Elliott Wave or, you know, just sort of what I just said, basically, we're dealing with ABC structures in the subwaves anyway. So we have three waves down, three waves up. So it's not as clear in a diagonal. Good news about a diagonal is it's not going that fast. We can normally recognize the waves quite well. And it typically tells us, I mean, it's an ending diagonal. It's ending something. And it would likely be ending... This, um, well, it's ending basically this, this, this downtrend. Okay, that's the idea. And then within the diagonal, it looks as if we're forming a triangle. Now, I'm always careful labeling triangles because I know that triangles very often look like triangles, at least Elliott wave triangles. It's certainly a triangle shape, but they often look like Elliott wave triangles, but then they turn into something different. So Elliott wave triangles are labeled A, B, C, D, E. And that's, I mean, you can see here the, the trend line, the trend channel. We've nearly arrived at the upper boundary line of that parallel trend channel where we connected waves one and three. So it could be, there could be here the end, okay? And the wave four might, might be a triangle. Yeah, not as common in diagonals, but, and then a triangle is an A, B, C, D, E pattern. So A wave, B wave, C wave, D wave, and then E, okay? And this here could be a completed triangle, maybe just one more lower high. And here from here, we could start the move down. So obviously it could turn into something different, but when do we know that, well, we never know, but highly probable. When is it highly probable that the fifth wave to the downside has started? First indication would be a break below the last low at 165, better a break below the B wave low at 159 and full confirmation below 152. And then the next downside targets are 143, 122, 116. These are three levels to watch, probably more like 122 to 116. But we can specify that further once we really have a confirmed top in place. Because if it's a triangle, I would need to adjust these slightly. And anyway, if it forms a higher high um, in wave four, then also I might have to adjust this. Yeah, that's sort of what I'm watching at the moment um, here on the net gas chart. And the idea is that, yeah, I mean, Triangle pattern is fine. That's one possibility. 
But then also be aware that obviously a triangle could be an internal triangle. I mean, this could just be a B wave triangle in a still unfolding larger ABC structure in wave four and the wave four is unfolding. Yeah, it's ABC, but the triangle is a B wave. So if we get an upside breakout, especially a break above $1.94, that would rather hint at that possibility. But either way, um, at the moment, I have no clear setup for generally higher prices and that the overall low is in. It's, of course, possible. That would be something that I would explore much further should the price break above 250. Why that level? Because, so first of all, um, I think a break out of the, the trend channel to the upside would already possibly be a first hint. But technically, I have to allow a way for, especially in a diagonal, to rally in this case to the 250 level, the 61.8 retracement. Um, that's also the 1.618 extension of the A wave. So really shouldn't go much higher than that. Um, so if that happens in three waves, but even in five, so if we see five waves form from here, a larger five wave pattern, I mean, that means a low is probably in. And um, then I would stop looking for that fifth wave to the downside, but we haven't even we haven't even reached the resistance area. We don't need to reach it, not in a triangle, but we, you know, we, without breaking it, there's nothing that I could set off say is is very bullish here. It's just sideways consolidation after a downtrend typically indicates trend continuation down. Um, a break to the upside would also short term be bullish, yes. So especially above the trend line and the last high, but then there's a resistance area that the price could still respect, um, which you know, still needs to be broken in order to, let's say, give us something more bullish and give us some evidence that really a more substantial low has already formed, which at the moment I just don't, I just don't see. It's not there. Three wave rally and sideways consolidation. Surely, you know, anything could happen, but we're focusing on the probable. Yeah, that's my update about uh, NetGas. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you're interested in daily updates, about the S&P 500, as well as regular updates about stocks. Feel free to check out these stocks and S&P 500 service. You'll find the link in the description. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.